tensions. Developing countries say richer nations must make larger cuts. And China is the world's biggest overall emitter of greenhouse gases, followed by the United States, India and Russia. Now, scientists in Bangladesh are looking for innovative ways to help farmers there deal with the consequences of climate change. Storms, cyclones and rising tides have ruined thousands of acres of once fertile land. Nicholas Hack sent this report from the southern coast of Bangladesh. Four years after Cyclone Isla hit the coast of Bangladesh, the embankments are still broken. Some people still live in tents. There's not much to eat and most rely on charities to survive. The biggest problem we have is with water. It's everywhere, but it's not drinkable, and it's destroying our land. Not only did the rising tides flood homes and farmland, they brought the ocean's brackish water a hundred kilometers inland. Salty water poisons the earth, turning what was once fertile land desolate. It's now almost impossible to grow food here. But in this barren earth, there is some hope. Scientists are testing a new variety of rice that can tolerate salty water. We are still at an experimental phase. If there's too much salinity in the water, then the rice plant will die. We hope we can solve this problem soon. This farmer is convinced this new strain of rice is the only way to adapt to the changing weather conditions. We are all farmers here. If we can grow rice, this will give us an income and we won't have to rely on aid anymore. So despite the success of this saltwater resistant rice, most people here have abandoned the idea of growing anything here. They say the climate is changing too fast. The ocean is inching inland. The UN predicts that by 2050, 15% 15 of Bangladesh's coasts will be permanently underwater. Most farmers have packed up their tools. People here are on the move, adding to the millions of climate refugees fleeing their homeland. Nicholas Hogg, Al Jazeera, Gabura Union, Southern Bangladesh. Well, Hobbit mania is gripping New Zealand, or should we say Middle Earth? The capital city, Wellington, has just hosted the world